What is up guys? Welcome back to Pokemon News Daily for January 22nd, 2019. I'm your host, Daddy Gamer Fred, bringing you a daily news show where I go over all the Pokemon news for the day. From official news to the leaks to the rumors spamming across all media of Pokemon from the games to the movies to the anime. If you want to keep up to date with the latest news, make sure you are subscribed right now with those notifications turned on. If you like today's video, be sure to leave a like down below. Also, be sure to leave a comment as well as I do take time out of my day to reply to all the comments. So let me know your thoughts on today's topics but without no further ado let's jump right into the news and let's start off today by talking about the february pokemon go community day that just got announced today kind of by surprise is not the heavily rumored Rodas or balgon it turns out that we're getting a swine up community day which is great in my opinion because it also brings in a new generation 4 evolution mount swine which is currently unavailable right now in game so this will be the first appearance of this pokemon inside of pokemon go but it does come with a bit of a catch because in order to involve Swan Nub into Muswine, you need a Shino Stone. So players must do some PvP action in order to grab one or get one via the research breakthrough box. Either way, you might want to stack up a few Shino Stones for the community day event. Like always, the event comes with bonuses that we will have, including the 3x catch stardust and the three hour lore marticles that we could place on Pokestops. And in addition to having those bonuses, we also will be getting five rewards a day from trainer battles during the weekend of Pokemon Go Community Day. So during that whole weekend, when you participate in trainer battles, you'll be getting five rewards for the whole day. I believe it's three a day that we can do that will give you rewards, including the Shino Stone. So now you could try up to five times a day just for that Pokemon Go Community Day weekend. Also to note that there is still an unannounced special move that Monswine will learn when you evolve it using the Shino Stone within the hours of community. I think this is pretty cool with this being the year of the pig. It's understandable why they pick Swine Nub in the beginning of the year to launch, you know, the year of the pig to kind of tie that in. You know, it's a, it's a pig Pokemon and, you know, this Pokemon is being heavily influenced by a pig, but it's also introducing a brand new Pokemon into the game, Monswine, which is cool. With also giving that Pokemon, Monswine, an exclusive move. Also, because this is Community Day, we have a chance of finding a shiny Swine Nub and evolving it into a shiny Monswine. So this is going to be the first time we're going to be seeing this Pokemon and then we could literally be adding it to our Pokedex as shiny, which is pretty cool. So overall, it sounds like a pretty okay event from my eyes. I'm just a bit worried about getting a couple of Shino Stones ready before the event because it's being a hard item to for people to be getting a hold of but let me know your thoughts on this community day event in the comment section below and i really really hope they implement other ways outside of the pvp and outside of the research box maybe give us a research task that we can get from spending pokemon stops during the pokemon community day that will grant us a shino stone because we're gonna need it especially if we want to evolve a couple of you know 100 swine nub into the moss wine now outside of the pokemon go community day news we didn't get anything else today we did get one story and this is coming from centertower.com i'm gonna have a link to this article in the description below but we got basically numbers on how much the pokemon company and niantic have made from the mobile efforts for pokemon including pokemon quest which from today has hit in 10 million downloads and 9.5 million dollars in player spending now if you don't know pokemon quest is a free-to-play game and you can buy i believe is about like a 30 dollar pack and that's all they allow you to buy so it is impressive that they are making that much money with pokemon quest on mobile and that's 9.5 million dollars now again pokemon quest is also on the nintendo switch and i'm not too sure if this includes those numbers it also this article does include the numbers for magikarp jump pokemon shuffle pokemon duel and of course pokemon go if you guys want to check it out i let the link in the description 
description, like I said, for this article. So you could crunch the numbers of everything, Pokemon, Niantic, Nintendo, and how much they're actually making with the Pokemon franchise via the mobile market. Now that's going to be it for Pokemon News Daily for today. I know it was only a little bit of news and it was just, that's literally what all came out. We got numbers for Pokemon Quest and then we got a ton of information about the February Pokemon Go Community Day that I wanted to get the information out there for you guys. So let me know in the comment section below your thoughts on both of the topics that we went over today. What are your thoughts on Pokemon Quest making $9.5 million? And also let me know your thoughts on the Pokemon Go Community Day for the month of February, it being Swine Up and potentially you having to grind for Sinnoh Stones in order to get that Mount Swine. And again, you need to have that during the Pokemon Go Community Day in order to get that exclusive move. So let me know your thoughts on that in the comment section below. I'm gonna see you guys down there. As you guys know, I answer all comments. I love you guys. I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow on the next Pokemon News Daily. Like always, guys, I'm Daddy and my Fred on Instagram and Twitter, and you guys can bring the conversation there. I'm the American Gamer in Switzerland right here on YouTube, and yes, I'm gonna be doing a ton of videos just like this one. So if you enjoy, please hit that subscribe button. Also, hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned. Ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time I drop a video. Peace. I'm gonna see you guys on the next one.